the Great Smoky Mountains. Such a beautiful place, so vast, so mysterious. Here we're looking off the Appalachian Trail towards North Carolina. Now these mountains are said to be some of the oldest in the world. Now this Appalachian mountain range in North America on the eastern coast runs from Maine down to Alabama. And you can see the Great Smoky Mountains. Now here looking at the Great Smoky Mountains, it's right on the border between North Carolina and Tennessee. And it has some of the highest points in this Appalachian range. Now this old park is 520,000 acres or equal to 800 square miles. Now, the first Indians come in this country probably after the Ice Age 10,000 years ago and they developed into the modern Cherokee. This is their home. And they called this place Shikonahe, the place of blue smoke. And they honored the land and they worshiped it. This was their life, and they loved it. Now the Cherokee Nation at its highest point was in the 1700s, just white men started to approach in here. In the 1830s, they was forced from their land, their homeland that they known for thousands of years on the Trail of Tears. But hundreds escaped to the mountains to stay in their homeland. And they still here today, eastern band of the Cherokee in Cherokee, North Carolina, just to the border of the Smokies. Now the first white man come in here in the late 1700s, just trying to survive off the land, raise a family, hunt. This cage cold was started in 1794. And as time went on, they started to sell their only resource they had here in these mountains, and that was logging. And logging became bigger and bigger. It became a good market for them. And for long, all kinds of little communities sprung up for these logging communities. Elk Mott, Smoke Mott, Tree Mott, and Proctor, all in these haulers. And as time went on, they got a railroad lines in here. Out of Knoxville. Here's a map of the railroad lines at the time. They go on up to all these little communities, hauling these logs out. And I mean, they hauled them out of here. Some of these trees were said to be two to 300 foot tall, untouched resources. Here's some of the size of these trees, you can just see them. Hard to believe. And here's the American chestnut. They was all in here too, they was the tallest. But a black came in in the 30s, all the way up into the 40s and killed them all out. And as time went on, they just developed better and better and more technology to get these logs out of these mountains. But the bad part is, they was clear cutting and they was destroying the environment. And people was trying to put an end to this. Logging's one thing, but clear cutting's another. So they tried in the 1890s to preserve this park. Bills was presented in the state legislatures and in the, the government, but they always failed. But finally, Calvin Coolidge, in 1926, he finally got a bill passed and he signed in Congress to make this a park. And the park started with 150,000 acres. And as time went on, it grew more and more. A little communities then from logging communities, they turned into like resorts, health resorts and just getaways. And the trains 
hauling logs, they was hauling visitors, passengers. Now, in 1933, Franklin D. Roosevelt was elected. It was during the Depression, a bad time. So he started, he was going to help the country to straighten everything out. So he started the New Deal. And part of the New Deal was the CCC, a Civilian Conservation Corps. And they would go around the country repairing the infrastructure, even here in the Smokies. This is a camp at Cage Cove. And they worked just like they did around the country, powering roads, bridges, buildings, clearing land, forestry service, whatever needed to be done. And most of the trails that you walk on today in the Smokies was created by the CCC. They even built the observation platform deck here at Newfound Gap. And here in September 2nd, 1934, Franklin D. Roosevelt came in to commemorate the park. They had a pretty good crowd here too. Here's the pictures. Great Smoky Mountains, vast place, so vast. And all the CCC, they built stuff like the Newfound Gap Road Tunnel on 441 across the Smokies. Here's an old picture. And they even started building Cleanland's Dome about 57. It was opened in 59. Here's the plans. And here it is when it, when it opened. Beautiful structure. High on top of the highest point in the Smokies. Here it is today. It's at an elevation of 6,644 feet. Here's some of the views, breathtaking. On a clear day, you could see Knoxville. Here's the Cage Cove, here's the tunnel. And here's typical Cage Cove, bumper to bumper. You'll stop a mile back. You don't know what's going on ahead of you. Somebody's seen an animal, most likely a bear like this. They are beautiful animals, but you leave them alone. This place is crowded. Now here's some of the sights at Cage Cove. Such vast beauty. One of the many creeks that run through Cage Cove. Right out of these mountains, this water's like ice water. Now this is just a few of the structures at Cage Cove. This is the old mill. This is the Tipton place. So many old structures here in Cage Cove. I can only show you a few.
this is the real important area. It's such a beautiful place out of Mount Lecomte. All this comes out of Mount Lecomte. Little community all down the foot of this mountain. Pioneers. This is only a fraction of what's in this, this area. Here's New Found Gap parking lot today on the border of North Carolina and Tennessee. Here's some, just some of the old graveyards. This is one of them in the Sugarlands area. Beautiful old sites to preserve for the pioneers that once settled this country. This is old Elkmont itself. The old buildings that used to be the resorts. I reckon uh, they've not decided if they're going to tear them down or restore some of them. And here's some signs of the past here in the Smokies off the beaten trail where they used to log. You can still find remnants of it. Time gone by. Now this old park is full of trails everywhere you want to go. And they're in nice shape most of them. But this is no place to play around. This is still wilderness. Now to this day, there's still five people missing in the Great Smoky Mountains. Here's a map of where they was missing and the dates they went missing. So this place is still wilderness. People get lost, accidents happen, but please be safe on these trails. Always be safe. Now this old park is the most visited national park in the country. It has over 12 million visitors a year. The one that comes close in second is Grand Canyon National Park which is 6.2 million. And third is Rocky Mountain National Park, 4.6 million. And fourth is Zion National Park with 4.4 million. So the Smokies doubles the one in second place. Now the traffic here with 12 million visitors, you can imagine at times. Here Highway 66 between the Smokies and I-40, at times this is what it looks like, all three lanes. And they've been working on roads here for 30 years. Now here's a picture of Gatlinburg back in 1949. Looks awful peaceful, don't it? Serene, beautiful. Here's Gatlinburg today. Times worse on traffic. But it's such a beautiful place. Can't blame anybody for trying to get in here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this bit of history. I love showing it and sharing it to you. So, I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.